four, five seconds low. Beautiful. Now come all the way back, full range of motion, all the way. Good. Now go. Two. Good. Slow control. Good. Good. Not quite as explosive, a little bit less explosive. You want to keep going? Chaluka! It's okay, we're going to go over here though, right? It's okay. So as you can see, throughout this entire workout, we're doing uh, very, very controlled reps, both in the concentric and eccentric part of the uh, rep. It's the Mike Menser type of one set to failure, uh, high intensity style training. Um, it's definitely an advanced technique where you have to leave your ego at the door because there's no way you're going to be able to use the same weights that you use for your fast, fast explosive movements.
Alright, so now we've moved on to deadlifts. Normally, if I do singles in a sumo stance, I could get you know 500 pounds plus um, by controlling the range of motion. Uh, 225 felt like 405 easily. Um, I think I probably only got about seven or eight reps or so on this. Um, you really have to take yourself to a completely different place mentally to really, really hit failure. Alright, so here's Marcus explaining uh, holding the shrug uh, contraction for about three seconds at the top. Um, you know, you're going to see a lot of people who like to bounce the weight up even on calf raises, but um, luckily I have, I've had some uh, prior training to really controlling the weight before. Um, so it was it was easier for him to uh, kind of take me through the workout rather than explaining it, you know, step by step the entire way. Um, I forget how how many reps I did on this. Uh, it was just basically the failure with a few set of holds at the end. So as you can see, the, the way Marcus trains is very strict form, uh, not much cheating at all. Um, everything is um, making sure you feel the contractions working. This was only 75 pounds, it felt really uh, heavy, uh, especially midway and towards the end, you can see here. Um, I can honestly say this is probably the first time doing barbell curls where I felt like passing out. Um, so this is uh, just a little rest pause, busting out a few more with a few force reps at the end. You can see the workout probably uh, 
the work is probably only took about 12 minutes or so to complete. Uh, we're going to do some rope hammer curls after this. So here, the same thing. I can just stand like this. Lean forward a little bit. Bring it up. So with just one working set per exercise, I suggest uh, you try it out, but bring as much intensity as you possibly can. Um, you know, you got one set to knock it out, and if you don't knock it out, then you're just wasting your time. Um, I would recommend it for people who have either hit a plateau or have been trained for a while and want a different stimulus. Um, this is definitely going to kick your butt. Especially if you have a busy schedule, you can get in and out of the gym uh, fairly quick. You know, workouts usually don't take more than half an hour. Um, everything is work. You know, I I don't I don't like it when people just kind of hang around the gym, you know, on their f cell phones or talking store and just kind of wasting everyone's time. You know, I'm there to work, so I'm gonna make sure I work hard. So it's a good thing I took Newbury Nutrition's Undisputed uh, Hysteria Menace before the workout, sipping on two scoops of the Helix during the workout. Um, looking forward to hitting legs uh, with Marcus. Hit style, baby. Good shit, appreciate it. We'll do it again soon. <laughs>